Hey guys, Sneeze here. I just want to tell you real quickly, I was having trouble with the camera. So you're going to see a lot of fast cutscenes in this video. Uh, just a heads up, I was having a lot of trouble with the camera. Uh, this camera is great for face cam, but when it comes to looking at the cards and focusing in, uh, it was having a lot of trouble. So uh, just a little, just a little warning. Uh, but I definitely had a lot of fun opening up these uh, these these uh, packs because this is my first this is my first pack opening you know ever in my life. So. Uh, I was definitely taking my time looking at all the cards. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I thought I'd share this uh, deck opening with you guys. Uh, this is a 2013 Deck Builders Toolkit. Uh, I intentionally wanted the 2014, but the store that I went to didn't have it. Uh, they only had this right here, so I got this little intro pack right here. But I'm going to save that one for another video. Uh, all the the builders decks the 2014 13 12 11 they're right around the same price of 20 bucks so not really missing out you know uh this is really i'm really excited because i i have uh let me go ahead and show you the donut this is a donut this is a zero i have zero magic cards i've never opened up a magic uh magic deck magic uh booster packs fat packs uh never opened up any of that so i'm really really excited about this uh please bear bear with me through this video because uh i haven't done any of these any of these kind of videos where i'm really reliant on the camera like the autofocus for this uh webcam is just <laughs> it comes in and then goes out it doesn't know what to do maybe if i just put it right here can you guys see better I don't know. And you guys can see my green screen and my blue Yeti. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, let's just get right into it. I know you guys probably can't see it, but 125 semi-randomized cards suitable for building several deck, uh, sorry, several different magic decks. Four 15-card booster packs from a variety of recent Magic the Gathering sets. 100 basic land cards to help you cast your spell. So this is really important because uh, people that are new to Magic, uh, like, for instance, me, <laughs> I'm going to need the physical land card to to help me out, you know, uh, when, when I want to tap it, when I want to untap it, how many manas are in play, you know, small little things like that. So there's a hundred and there's five different. So there's, there's probably like 20, 20 islands, 20, 20 planes, 20 swamps. You guys get the gist. Uh, and then there's like, a, a builder, uh, guy, there's a learn how to play guide, there's a storage box. So yeah, let's just go right into it. Uh, I also got the sleeves too. Uh, I know this is the, uh, <laughs> this is a starter deck, so there's probably not going to be that many rare cards that I'm going to need sleeves for. So this is just a, just in case, you know, uh, I don't know how many people have ever, <laughs> uh, opened up a uh, starter deck and got a uh, and got a planeswalker maybe I'll be the first one I'll be the first one ever wow I'm so excited so excited let's throw that over there nice cool cool that is uh that dragon guy <laughs> I know his name I know his name oh man that's gonna irritate me that's gonna irritate me just looking at him he's the uh, the multi colored uh, planeswalker right that guy that boss <laughs> that boss so what do we want to look at first let's look at the uh, the booster packs Enestro, Enestro, is it like Italian? You have to roll the R. 15 cards right there. Uh, the restored deck. <laughs> Avacine. All right. 
which one is this the 2013 corset the 2013 corset okay i'll take it i'll take it i'll definitely take it so let's put these ones to the side let's hold off on that this is just a little empty box uh these are the guides right here uh i know a little bit about magic you know i i've i played the uh the the game uh the magic the gathering uh planeswalker game thing bear pig man thing so this is really cool i'm really excited about this the evolving wilds oh man i'm so excited so so very excited zero cards and now i have 200 and 285 this is just the beginning, you know. This is like a can of worms where you open it up and it's over. It's a wrap. <laughs> You're sucked into the magic life. And that's what I think is going to happen. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Let's, uh, how am I going to do this? So, guys, this is, the, this is still the first deck. Uh, so, we did see the Evolving Wilds. And I didn't see anything else in this deck. Uh, what I've been doing is fiddling with the camera because the camera is just going way too crazy right now. So it looks like I need to have like this card in the picture, like like 90, 80 percent of the 80 percent of the uh, picture is going to have to be the card. So uh, it is a little bit unorthodox. Sorry about that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and continue uh, while this camera is still yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like it's get it gets like blurry. So I need to get a little bit closer and tilt it so you guys can see the uh, mana and the. Uh, <laughs> I told you, man. Bear with me. Bear with me, man. We'll, we're we're gonna get through this, guys. We're gonna get through this. Intangible virtue. This is a really good uh, card right here because I'll be able to play a uh, white. Uh, green deck, you know, and get all those. <laughs> this is just, this is just fail. This is so fail. Like I'm so, I'm so anal about these things that I want, I want good quality videos and this camera right here. Uh, so <laughs> this camera right here is the latest, it's the latest model of the Logitech. It's the C980. Uh, webcam it comes with uh, microphones also dual microphones on each side uh, so I got it over a year ago and it's still the latest model so I don't know I've been looking at other cameras so while I have this in focus <laughs> while I have this in focus right now uh, I can run a white green deck with this enchantment right here so I because I know that there's a lot of tokens in the green. Well, <laughs> let's let's just say that uh, if I do get a chance to get a card that uh, will allow me to get multiple tokens into play, this this will be a really good card right here. And also the black deck, too. So I could go black, white or I could just go white. But I don't like I don't like I don't like the whole the whole thing about the, the white. Uh, I think they call it white teeny deck. Is that what they call it? Uh, my whole magic terms is uh, not up to date. So this is a four drop right here. Put two, two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. So like I just said, that 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 intangible virtue is gonna is gonna really make this card uh, OP. Uh, flashback. Okay. So these are the uh, commons. And you can tell by the the emblem right here. <laughs> you can tell by the emblem right here that uh, these are the commons. And uh, yeah, this this one right here, Captain's Call. This is another one that allows uh, tokens onto the battlefield. Nice, 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 nice. Another one. Gather the townsfolk. Vile rebirth. So this is a really good card right here. This is a uh, one drop right here. Exile target creature card from the graveyard. Put 
a 2-2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. I mean, yes, I will take that. That's got to be. It's got to be one of the top cards in the black deck. Um, this is another one. Tokens, Lingering Souls, Gold Knight Redeemer. Nice. Six, oh, it's a six drop. Four, four. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Ooh, this is a nice one. Attended Knight, first strike. I'll take it. And, and when it enters the battlefield, put a token onto the battlefield. Nice one. Vile Rebirth again. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. That's always good. Uh, but it's a two drop, so, eh. I don't know. Nice, another Evolving Wilds. I'm all about that. Roaming uh, Primadox. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, this card's really interesting because at the beginning of your upkeep, return a creature card you control to its owner's hand. So this is really good if I want to get uh, this card right here. So if I went the green-white deck, I could... Uh, if this is in the battlefield and I have... Uh, the uh let me get this in focus right here the roaring primadox uh onto the battlefield i can bring this one back into my hand put it back into play and get another token so that's really good that's really good if i chose to go uh this route right here Ooh, nice acidic slime it's a death touch and when acidic slime Enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or land. Uh, that's a five drop. Five drop. It's a two, two, two power, two defense. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it if I choose to go this route. Uh, borderline Ranger. Ranger. Elvish Visionary. Nice. When Elvish Visionary enters the battlefield, draw a card. One, one, two drop. Uh, this is another good one right here. Eva's Force Mage. Beast Tracker right here. Nice. Bond Beetle. Nice. One drop right there. And Timberland Guide, another Evolving Wilds. Nice, really nice. So, uh, I guess the reason why they're putting so many of these in is just in case you want to run a multicolored uh, deck. These cards right here are very, very, very important. It allows you to search your library for a basic land. So, if you're running a, a red, white deck... Uh, this will allow you to search your deck for mana that you don't have already. Uh, this is a really good one right here. Uh, Knight of Glory. It's a two drop. Protection from black and it's exalted. You know, the thing about exalted is whenever a creature you control attacks on loan, that creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. So the whole entire point is to have a lot of creatures that have exalted. You want them on the battlefield and just attack with one and it'll just get so many, so many pump ups. Ooh, another exalted. Nice. Oh, this is an enchantment. Sorry. Okay. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, you may tap a target creature. Oh, this is really, yeah, Angelic uh, Bendition. I think I pronounced that right. Bendition? Benediction? Benediction. It's Benediction, sorry. Uh, nah. It's Exalted, yeah, but it's Defender. I'm not a fan of Defenders. Flying Exalted. Okay. 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 This is another Exalted. One drop. Nice. Another Exalted. I think I'm getting the theme. <laughs> this one has haste, too. Another Defender. Another Exalted. 
Ooh, nice. My first artifact equipment. Nice. Let's read this one. Cobbled wings. It's a two drop. Uh, equipped creature has flying. Equip one. Attach to target creature you control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So as long as I equip this to a creature, it has flying. Nice. Nice. Another evolving wilds. I'll take I'll take as many evolving wilds as possible, man. Oh, this is really cool. Really, really cool. Uh I'm sure uh, what's the symbol? I think the symbol represents uh uncommon. So the the commons and the uncommons are kind of mixed, is what I'm noticing. And, uh, yeah, the Gallows Warden. It's a 5-drop, but I think it's worth it, you know, because other spirit creatures you control get uh, plus 1 defense. So, I think it's worth it. So, this is nice. A Drag Skull Captain. It's a 3-drop. Uh, one of those manas have to be a plains, and another one has to be a uh, island i like that a lot a creature spirit soldier nice other spirit creatures you control get plus one plus one and hex proof like cha-ching <laughs> cha-ching nice uh ghast snatch counter target creature spell put a one one blue spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield so not only do i counter a creature spell but i can also summon a token one one token with flying voiceless spirit flying first strike i'll take it ghostly possession nice enchantment aura enchantment uh, so you want to equip this to a creature, uh, that creature will have flying and prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and dealt by enchanted creature. Nice. So it pretty much becomes a defender. I think it's a defender after that, right? That would make sense. Actually, no, because defenders take damage, so. Uh, Battleground Geist. Flying. Other spirit creatures you control get plus one power. Midnight Haunting. Awesome. More tokens. Voiceless Spirit. Flying. First Strike. Feeling of Dread. Tap up to two target creatures. Flashback. Okay. Spectral Prison. You want to throw this on an enemy and it'll tap. Pretty much. Okay. Okay, we got that deck out of the way. Well, let's continue to open packs right here. Uh, this one should be all lands. All lands. All the islands and mountains. And islands. And swamps. Mountains. Forests. Plains. Let's continue to open... Not expose everything. <laughs> Let's not expose everything. Ghoul Caller's Bell. Nice. Uh, this is an artifact. Uh, each player puts the top card of his or her uh, library into his or her graveyard. And then you tap tap this I think if I hold it like this the camera will focus so 
we should be good as long as I hold it like this. All right. L God Inquisitor. It has lifelink. And when it when this Inquisitor dies, put a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token uh, with flying onto the battlefield. So this is really good if I want to have a heavy token based deck. Voice of Provinces. Awesome. This is a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, six drop though. Let's uh, put the deck right here. It has flying when voice of the provinces enters the battlefield. Put a 1-1 one, one white human token, creature token onto the battlefield. Uh, I don't think that's worth six mana to be honest. Uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, another attendant knight. I want as many of these as possible. Uh, three drop, first strike, and you can get a 1-1 one, one, uh, soldier creature token onto the battlefield. I mean, that's that's win-win, baby. Win-win, baby. Cathedral San Stiffer. <laughs> Talk about butchering a name. We'll just call it Cathedral. When it enters, you gain three life. Chapel Geist. Uh, it has flying. Very good. Very good. Niblest of the Mist. It's flying. When Niblest of the Mist enters the battlefield, you may tap target creature. Ooh, nice. Uh, Seraph of Dawn. Flying. Lifelink. Nice. I know there's a lot of these in this deck, probably. Griffin Protector. It's a four drop flying when another creature enters the battlefield under your control. Griffin Protector gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. So that includes tokens, too. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is an instant. Creatures you control get a plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Glorious charge. Safe passage. All right. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and creatures you control this turn. Ooh, pacifism. Really good. Uh, it's a two drop. Uh, throw this on an enemy uh, creature and that creature cannot attack nor block pacifism really good card uh i'm not too sure how much this this goes for like 25 cents i think another pacifism i'll take it i'll take it cloud shift this is a one drop exile target creature you control then return that card to the battlefield under your control so if you have a card that allows uh, tokens to enter the battlefield, as long as uh, that card enters the battlefield, I don't know if I'm explaining it right. <laughs> this card is for you. Uh, Urgent Exorcism. Destroy target spirit or enchantment. Really nice card. Mist Raven creature bird flying. When Mist Raven enters the battlefield, return target creature to its owner's hand. Nice. Four. Four drop, two, two. Griff Vanguard. Five mana. Flying when Griff Vanguard enters the battlefield, draw a card. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Archaeomancer. This is the card that I was looking for. Uh, if I choose to go blue, uh, this is a creature, a human wizard. 
when Archaeomancer when Archaeomancer enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. This is really, really important card if you're going to go the blue route. Stormbound Geist. Ooh, it's Undying. Okay. It's a three drop Undying 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Nice. Deranged Assistant. Uh, tap Deranged Assistant. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Add one to your mana pool. <clears throat> Welkin Turn. Another Welkin Turn. Scroll Thief. Nice. Thought Score. Skewer. I like this. Instant Target player target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into her graveyard his or her graveyard draw a card essence scatter it's an instant counter target creature spell negate uh, it's an instant counter target non-creature spell Divination, draw two cards. All right, all right. Curse of the Bloody Tomb. This is gruesome. <laughs> that is gruesome. Who drew this? Jamie Jones? You're twisted, Jamie. <laughs> it's an enchantment. Throw this on a player at the beginning of at the beginning of enchanted players upkeep that player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard so this blue is all about milling mill 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 have your opponent just throw away all of his or her cards uh encrust all right back to uh, the black deck Vampire Enter Looper Nice Liliana's Shade Awesome When Liliana's sh When Liliana's Shade enters the battlefield You may search your library for a swamp card Reveal it Put it into your hands Then shuffle your library and her passive Liliana's Shade gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. I mean, you can really pump this up, man. It only costs one mana, one swamp. So you could really, really pump this up, man. Nice. Ravenous Rats. I want some rats in my deck. Yeah. Yes. When Ravenous Rats enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card. This is a two drop right here. So by turn two, I can have my opponent mill a card. <laughs> Love it. Love this card. Let me get some more. Let me get some more rats, please. Bloodhunter Bat. When Blood Hunter Bat enters the battlefield, target player loses two life. You gain two life. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it because it is a four drop and it's only a two, two. I understand the whole gaining life, but, uh, that's, it's too, too rich for my blood. Tormented soul. Nice. This is a one drop one, one tormented soul cannot can't block and is unblockable. I mean, throw enchantments on this card and Sky's the limit. <laughs> Sky's the limit. Put a life link on this card. Put f it doesn't even matter if you put flying on this card because it's unblockable. Your opponent can't block it. Uh, can only can only uh, destroy it. You know, 
And then on top of that, you could put like hex proof on this card too. So really is sky's the limit with tormented soul. It's a one drop. So uh, you just need to pull some really good cards. I really like this card, man. I really like this card. Driver of the dead. I don't know anything about this card. Markov Patrician. Ooh, it's a lifelink. Okay, okay. Nice. Goal colors chance. One drop sorcery. Choose one. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Or return two target zombie cards from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. That's a head scratcher. Which one to choose? Because they're both good. Nice. Sign in blood. Can you see how much mana? It's a two drop. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. So I would probably choose myself to, to lose two life, but you're gaining two cards. So it's worth it. Unless you're like really low health, then it's not worth it. <laughs> and you can also kill your opponent if they have two life. So uh, sign in blood's a really good card. Moida. This is a Moida. Destroyed target creature. Another Moida. Duress. This is a sorcery. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. So in the opening stages, this is a really, really cool card. You'll have your opponent... You'll have your opponent hating life once you discard uh, his or her uh, card that he or she wants to put into play. Uh, dead weight. Okay. And you want to throw this on a uh, opponent and that creature gets negative two, negative two. So you have the opportunity of killing killing a low power low defense uh creature victim of the night destroy target non-vampire non-werewolf non-zombie creature pitch burn devils when pitch burn devils dies it deals three damage to target creature or player five drop you know, I'm not a fan of the burn deck. I'm I'm really not. Torch Fiend. I feel like they, they just cost way too much mana. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. The only red deck I like is the Goblin deck. Forge Devil. Heirs of Stromkirk. Here's a goblin. Oh man, let this be like a, a bunch of goblins behind this. Rummaging Goblin. When you tap this uh, goblin, discard a card, draw a card. Come on, goblins. Come on, goblins. Fire element, 5-4. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Ooh, nice. Searing Pain. Searing Pain deals three damage to target creature or player. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. This card right here. Really nice card. Treacherous Blood. It's a sorcery. Gain control of target creature until the end of the turn. Untap it. It gains Trample and Haste until the end of the turn. Nice. Really nice card. But it, it only lasts for... A short period of time. So, I don't know. Brimstone Volley. Demolish. Destroy target artifact or land. Krenko's Command. Put two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. Pillar of Flame. 
Another pillar of flame. Borderline Ranger. Uh, Pilgrim. <laughs> uh, I like this card. You tap it, add a uh, planes to your mana pool. Ooh. This is really good. Really good card if you're going to go white green deck. Elvish Visionary. All right. I like I like uh what I saw in that one. I really like what I saw in that one. Uh so let's let's uh unravel some more. Some more goodness. Come on. This is not smarter than me. This is not smarter than me. I am smarter than you, plastic. See? I told you I'm smarter than you. Went from never opening up a single magic card deck pack, bear pig man, to opening up three, four. I mean, I'm having the time of my life right now. I really am. So is this one going to be all elves? If it is, I might have to go out with an elf deck. I mean, would it be better if I hold it like this? Yeah, so you can see the mana and you can see the, uh, the name of the card too. Okay, we'll do it like this. Uh, you need to see the power and the mana too. Arbor Elf. You know, there's cards in this uh, in this deck that'll uh, pump up elves. So hopefully we get that card. Ambush Viper it has Flash, Death Touch. Need I say more? Gas Trapper, Path Breaker, Worm, Soulbound. As long as Pathbreaker Worm is paired with another creature, both creatures have Trample. What is Soulbound? Uh, let's read that real quick. You may pair this creature with another unpaired creature. When either, when either enters the battlefield, they remain paired for as long as you control both of them. Okay. Wildwood Geist. Nice. Titanic Growth. Ah, uh, yes. How is this a how is this a common? <laughs> how is this a common? That makes no sense. It's an instant. Target creature gets plus four plus four. Wow, I said that way weird. Plus four, plus four until the end of turn. How is this a common, uncommon? I mean, a common. That makes no sense. A two drop. Instant. Weird. Far seek. Search your library for a plains, island, swamp, or mountain card. And put it onto the battlefield tapped when then shuffle your library. Ranger's Path. Search your library for up to two forests and put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Is that worth four mana though? Natural end. Nice, Prey Upon, really nice. It's a one drop target creature you control, fights target creature you don't control. Oh man, I love this card. Wow, Crusader of Odric. Crusader of Odric's, Odric's. Power and toughness are equal to the Number of creatures you control. This can get really big. This can get really, really big. 
Oblivion Ring. Exile uh, non land permanent. Tolerance Invocation. Put two to two blue Drake creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. Nibbles of Breath. It has flying. You may tap or untap target creature. Nice. Vampire Nighthawk. Flying Death Touch. Lifelink. Need I say more? No. This would be perfect for my deck. My black deck. <clears throat> Arbiter Gruel. I don't know anything about this card. First strike, whenever a creature dealt damage by Arbiter Ghoul this turn dies, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. of devils Ro roaring primadox hollow henge scavenger it's morbid when hollow henge scavenger enters the battlefield if a creature died this turn you gain five life so is that for every every creature that's died this turn huh I don't know, is it? So my opponent's creatures that die, I gain five life too? Oh, huh, that's interesting. And I wonder if that includes tokens too. I mean, this, this card right here, how is this a uncommon? I think that's the uncommon symbol. Planes, awesome. Planes, awesome. Oh no, stop. Stop! No! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! Stop! Stop, please! No! I want rares! Give me my planeswalker! Give me my planeswalker! Ugh. Okay. Okay. All right, now it's time for uh, let, let's go with this. Let's let's go with this opening right here. Is there an easy way to open this? Yep. Try not to bend the cards inside. Let's angle this so you guys can see and my camera can focus. Haunted Ghoul. Haunted Ghoul cannot block humans. So, all right. If I'm facing a human deck, don't play this card. Thunderbolt. Choose one. Thunderbolt deals three damage to target creature. Or Thunderbolt deals four damage to target creature with flying. I really like this card. But, like I said, I'm not a fan of the burn. I like their enchantments and instants. But the other cards, the creature cards in the burn deck, I just, I don't, I'm not a fan of them. I'm really not a fan of them. Wildwood Geist. Ghostly Flicker. Exile two target artifacts, creatures, and or lands you control. Then return those cards to the battlefield under your control. So this will be for... <laughs> most likely this one will be for the uh, neck, neck, neck... I can't even pronounce it right now. <laughs> you guys know which one I'm talking about. Neckiomentor. Far Bog Explorer. It's a Swamp Walk. What does that mean? This creature is unblockable as long as defending player controls a swamp. 
I could see this card being really, really good against uh, the black deck. Wandering Wolf. Leap of Faith. It's an instant target creature gains flying until end of turn prevent all damage that would be dealt to this creature this turn somber wild vigilante whenever somber wild vigilante becomes blocked by a creature vigilante deals one damage to that creature so that's like one of the only cards I like so far <laughs> in the burn deck. Essence Harvest. Target player loses X life and you gain X life where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Wow. Late stages of the game. This card is going to be really important. I could see that. Driver of the Dead. Human frailty, destroy target human creature. I mean, <laughs> only if you're playing the white deck. Reign of Thorns. Sex drop, banishing stroke. It's an instant. Put target artifact, creature, or enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library. Miracle, what does that mean? Miracle costs one planes mana. You may cast this card for its miracle cost when you draw it. If it's the first card you drew this turn. This looks really, really cool. I don't know. Is this a good card? Banishing Stroke? You guys are going to have to let me know. Igor. Igor is the one who designed that card dual casting yay my first token card nice creature human and another mountain that was a nice booster pack right there let's go ahead and open up this booster pack right here Voiceless Spirit, Flying First Strike. Ghoul Callers Chant. Dead Weight. Unruly Mob. All right. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Unruly Mob. Lumber knots, hex proof. Whenever a creature dies, put a 1 1 counter on Lumber Knot. I don't know if that's worth a 4 drop. I know it's hex proof, but it's a 1 1. Our rare is Dearly Departed. It's a flying. As long as Dearly Departed is in your graveyard, each human creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Wow. I really like that card. What is this? Oh. 
Human soldier vigilance. Whenever another creature you control dies, you may transform Thraben Sentry. I do not know what this. I have no idea what this card does. <laughs> transform. I know there's a 5 4 on the bottom, but. Hmm. Is that what it transforms into once a. Once one of my creatures dies. I think that's what happens. I think that's what that means. Transform. And planes. Really nice cards right there. Last 30 cards of this deck. Ranger's Path. Search your library for up to two forests and put that in those cards into the battlefield pretty much. Silver Coat Lion. Nice. Two drop, two two. Mug Flunkies. Can't attack or block. Alone. Okay. It's a goblin. Sentinel Spider, awesome. Vigilance. And it has reach. Turn to slag. Griffin Protector. Divination, okay. Draw two cards. Reckless Brute. It has haste. Reckless brute attacks each turn if able. Zombie Goliath. Eva's Force Mage. Torch Fiend. War Priest of Thun. Tun Primal Clay. This is an artifact creature, shapeshifter. As Primal Clay enters the battlefield, it becomes your choice of a 3 3 artifact creature, a 2 2 artifact creature with flying, or a 1 6 wall artifact creature with defender. In addition to its other types. Okay. Not bad. Colorless. Nice. And our rare is Master of the Pearl Trident. How is this a rare? <laughs> other mere folk. Uh, creatures you control get plus one plus one and have island walk. How is that a rare? Last pack. You hear that camera? It's the last pack. You can you can calm down now. <laughs> If you stuck with this video for this long, I appreciate it. Uh, sorry again for the camera. Chandra's Fury. Are we going to get a Chandra's Planeswalker? I mean, that would be amazing. Uh, come on, camera. It's your last, last pack, and then you can go to sleep. Actually, we have some more videos that we have to do. Oh, yeah. Mind rot. Oh, yeah. Target player discards two cards. Please give me another mind rot. Safe passage. Prevent all damage. Archaeomancer. I couldn't pronounce that earlier. Archaeomancer. Try saying that ten times fast. <laughs> 
sign in blood, draw two cards, lose two life. Crater ice, destroy target land. Is that worth four mana though? I don't know. Essence scatter, counter target creature spell. Dragon hatchling. This has a lot of potential. A lot of potential. You can just pump this up forever. Because <laughs> it only costs one mountain. Encrust. Gorix Pack Leader. Awesome. Whenever another creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Night of Glory. Volcanic Geyser. Like I said, this uh these red these red cards, I'm a really big fan of the instants. Uh not so much the, the creatures. But I guess that's 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 what the burn deck is all about, you know, it's all about the instances. Is that how you say it? <laughs> the instant cards. Captain of the Watch. I really like this card. Really like this card. Uh, this is the rare. Uh, it has Vigilance. Other soldier creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have Vigilance. When Captain of the Watch enters the battlefield, put three, not one, not two, but three 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens onto the battlefield. Oh, man. I really love this card. Really love this card. Oh, we got one more. Ooh, yes. I think this is my only uh, holographic. I think that's the term they use in magic. Holographic card. It's my only holographic card. Crimson Muckwader. Come on, camera, please. Crimson Muckwader gets plus one, plus one. As long as you control a swamp, you can regenerate. Ooh, nice. Really nice. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this uh, this box opening. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, sorry again for the camera. Really nothing I could do. Uh, really going to have to start thinking about getting another camera if I do uh, more box openings. This camera's perfect. Uh, for a face cam, you know, but I don't think it's really meant for, you know, the, the autofocus because the autofocus was just really, really bad. But uh, I got a lot of good cards. It's going to take me a lot of time to just go through, really just go through all these cards. But until then, I'll definitely see you guys later.